editor of Marie Claire magazine, Jackie Frank TV <laughs> presenter Sophie Faulkner, and Who magazine editor, Nikki Brigger. Good morning, Angels. Good morning. Good morning. Now, for Get Workers Thinking Out to take a cigarette break, taking time out to update social network sites has become the new Smoko. More and more companies are banning their staff from accessing the sites on their work computers, so more and more staff are ducking out of the office to stay in touch using their mobiles. Jackie, do you think this is happening at your office? <laughs> Absolutely. With your staff? But they're not ducking out. <clears throat> we had this thing for a minute, I don't know if you had it at seven, because you know we're all one big ham happy yeah. family, where we weren't allowed to do Facebook, it was blocked. And yeah, that ours was, still is. Your yeah. still really? is. Really? So is ours. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you've got to I get can a never win. Hello. <laughs> I can never win. So what do anyway, you do? but what what the thing is, in 2007 there was the whole thing coming out that we're losing $5 billion in productivity. Now, in 2009, they had another survey which showed, in fact, 20 minutes, if people were able to go away, do what they want for that 20 minutes, it actually increases productivity by 9%. So it's all, you know, people go, they look, and also for our work we have to have access because we need to be able to research things, and Facebook and all those... Th all those other opportunities give us an, a way of getting... So you in. let your staff sort of do 20 minutes, update their Facebook, Twitter, all that sort of stuff each well, day? Well, not Twitter. Right. Well, not really? Not? Well, Twitter's just a stream of consciousness and, you know... That, that's, Twitter, that's Twitter's become even more important than yeah, Facebook Yeah, because us. you're on celebrities. We're yeah, about real it's, people. It's replaced, you know, no-one needs to put out a press release anymore. They just say, oh, you know, not true, doing this, yeah, getting married. Yeah, but that's celebrities. Yeah. Yeah, not for not us. True. But what about normal workers, though? Sophie, do you agree <laughs> with Facebook well, I think and Twitter? Social networking has become a new addiction, similar to smoking, and I think bosses not allocating a certain amount of time is quite silly. Mm. I think that it's you know mm. healthier than smoking. You're not going outside. You can do it at your computer, and as long as they only allocate a certain amount of time, I think it does increase right. productivity, keeps people happy, and it keeps people engaged in the outside world. Yeah, so connected. they're going to be happier workers. So can you do both? So what if you're a smoker and want to? One or the other. You've got to choose. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. You've got to choose. Yeah. Can't or do, do both. it at the same time. Can't you have a ciggy ugh and um, and do that at the same time? I right. don't know. Yeah, you, can. Have, you can. Multi, can you? you can multitask. Yeah, and yeah. have a coffee. But, yeah, that's and right. Exactly. Coffee. But yeah, honestly, okay. if, we, if we banded, I would seriously have a wasteland in the office. It would be tumbleweed yeah. because yeah. no one would be there. We all have to be on it. I mean, it, it is honestly for our job. We do need to be on Facebook. Not our coffee. job, your job. Well, yeah, right. yeah, and yours too, journalism, etc. But I do think it's a way of getting, you, you know, know, being connected yeah. and it's what people do. All right. Thank you, ladies. Good to see you.